How did Duo de More originate? Um, when I started university, uh, we played a number of weddings just as freelance musicians, mm -hmm. um, and I, I um, made friends with a number of my colleagues at school, and we began to play quite regularly. Um, then they all moved back home to Vancouver and to Halifax and to Ottawa and all over the country, and um, that's sort of how it originated. You know, we I started being the manager of of uh, the group. So we have soloists, which is one instrument, duos, which is two, trios, and cor string quartets. Yep. We have worked really hard to record um, samples of our playing that are mostly used for the wedding ceremonies, um, but it also gives clients um, an ability to just sort of hear the quality of our, our sound, um, you know, for events and things like that. Um, so we do, um, most clients choose the wedding music in particular from, from the website, um, but there's always a possibility um, of arranging a song. We do, we do special arrangements and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so there's a number of ways to, uh, to go about choosing music and, and things like that. And of course, people can always you know, call me and I can talk to them and um, suggest things that would work particularly well for a certain size of event. Okay. Um, you know, if you're having a large uh, amount of people at an, at an event, you, you, know, you select other songs, not something very quiet, but something mm. you know, loud. And that's How you've grouped the music together into different motives and themes such as traditional, romantic, and royal, and what led to the creation of these categories? Um, a friend of mine suggested that I, I do something like that, and it makes a lot of sense um, because typically people um, would like some um, help in actually coordinating all the music for the ceremony. Okay. Um, they, they often, um, you know, find it very helpful when there's when there's already a standard grouping of songs, mm -hmm. uh, and I find that um, those ones work particularly well together just from from our experience that we've had performing them, so okay. they flow very nicely together. Yeah. Um, tell us, what is the ratio compared to your female clientele compared to men? Um, it's probably um, a two to one, more, more females than, than the males, I would say. Okay. Yeah. Do you see that growing into uh, gaining more female clientele, or do you think men will start becoming more interested? Um, I think men are interested as well, but I think it's just that women tend to, um, you know, be more forward and, and to contact contact us for our services more so than, than men. I don't think it's disconnected at all. I think it's only getting stronger, actually. Um, I mean, now with with um, the ability to watch things online or um, you know to attend attend concerts, there's more orchestras starting up all the time. Um, I mean, even the, the Berlin Philharmonic in Germany, they just released something where you can go to their website and you can actually watch and attend a live concert um, online, which is, which is pretty interesting. Um, there's lots of um, youth orchestras that are starting up um, in Canada and around the world that, you know, just booming. You know, I think the music industry is, is, is doing really, really well, especially the classical industry. Uh, yeah. I think classical music is sort of always going to be there. Um, you know, and musical literacy is, is, is always going to be there. I mean, you're always going to have people that are, um, you know, learning to play an instrument or to, to read music and that sort of thing and to interact with music on a day-to-day -day basis, you know. Um, it's just like anything else. Um, it could be um, Meditation from Thais by Massenet. Um, it's on our um, signing selections on the, on the website. And I just, I just love that piece. Um, the arrangement that we have... Um, is lovely because it, the cello has a lovely pizzicato part and the, the violin is, is being bowed the, the whole time so the texture is really really interesting there and uh, um, it fits really well in lots of different parts of the ceremony. Mm -hmm. um, you know it's a celebration every everything that we do we we have a really good time um, you know it's a wedding or it's a it's a private event or something like that and it's always a celebration so um, you know it's lovely to meet people and to, to just participate in all those things and it's fun every day is fun